Good morning, guys. From our bed, we just woke up and it's been raining all night and all morning. So this is gonna be like a surfing in the rain kind of thing and what van life is in the rain kind of thing because we're having struggle now to like get everything ready and also while surfing like everything's gonna get wet the whole van is probably gonna get wet so let's see if this is gonna work out and how this is gonna work out i'm gonna take you guys along to show you what's it like to live in a tiny tiny van when it's raining cats and dogs and you still want to go surfing and everything's gonna be wet so yeah let's go <laughs> Don't worry, go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry You got bigger things planned for you, don't worry You ain't gotta come to conclusions this early Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep while you always in a hurry You got bigger things planned for you, don't worry. As it was raining all night yesterday, this is where we parked and obviously like it goes down here like in the middle of the night i woke up and i was so afraid that like this whole thing would just like fall off with us and we would like die i don't know it was so weird and obviously like nothing happened because obviously this is all like solid ground but still i was so afraid because we're not that far off it was a bit weird but yeah we just need to make sure that we get out of this whole situation because obviously everything's wet and everything's mushy you know what i mean arrived and we are currently checking out the spot but i need to get some stuff done anyway before i can go in because if the wives need to get some stuff done anyways. that's also true because if i don't have all of my immediate important emergency tasks done i cannot enjoy anything <laughs> so i need to get this done first and also the waves are not looking terrible but there's a lot of white water still and I think the tide is a little too low so we're just gonna wait for the water to fill out the bay for a bit and then we're gonna go in also we have not had breakfast yet so yeah breakfast nice so our dirt water tank just overflowed <laughs> that's fun <laughs> I don't think I've ever been as unmotivated to surf as I am. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> oh my god, it's so sus outside. Oh, everything's gonna get so wet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so <laughs> arranged so with that. Okay, so our game plan is to get dressed here, <sighs> or basically to get undressed in here, and then step outside, put our wetsuits on, then just drag out the boards and like run to the beach. It's good in verse. That's basically the plan. So let's see if this works out. Okay, guys, we are dressed. This was absolutely disgusting, but the rain is like semi stopping now. Getting into this wet wetsuit with it raining outside being so cold. Oh my god, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, we're gonna go in. Let's hope we're gonna have some fun and I will see you surfing. was the most unnecessary and uncomfortable surf session I ever had in my whole life and it was like unnecessarily uncomfortable and to be honest it was also uncomfortably unnecessary oh my god it was so bad the waves are actually so much bigger than they look like and they have so much force it's insane I used to love Lagida the spot where we went in because the waves were so like tiny and cute and it was so much fun to just like chill basically like it was they were really like baby waves and they didn't have too much force you had to like really hustle to get into them and that's what I really loved about it and I went in with the currents so there was like not really waves working against me and then I was out and I was like okay cool this is fun let's go now and then there was a huge wave coming in and before I even started to be able to think because I usually like think and then everything goes wrong I just started paddling basically and I actually got that wave and it was so weird because I wanted to like start and like go and it literally just like water was slapping like actually slapping into my face it was so freaking weird i was like what's going on i just kept on paddling and i kept on surfing and it was really weird and then i like basically surfed or like got washed or whatever happened all the way out and then i was like okay this is actually crazy like what's going on and then i wanted to go back in and the waves were so big and like louise went out for a second before i completely went out and he was like jesus christ i got washed so badly it was insane and then i was like okay you know what then no proper surfing i'm just gonna be in the white water for a bit and not even that really worked out because my board is not supposed to be ridden in white water and I'm actually like kind of ashamed that I am doing it every once in a while when the waves get too big because that's just not what you should do with that board and I had so much water in my ears that I ran back and I got my surfer ears but still it was so difficult to find balance and it, like it was not a good time at all the waves were so weird and so big and so not my thing so that was really unnecessary 
the whole van is wet now. I am wet. I am freaking cold. Like, literally, I was so cold that I couldn't even really, like, properly do a takeoff because everything was just freezing because the wind also is so strong. I should have, like, stayed in and just worked. And honestly, like, it's never unnecessary to go in. And I truly do believe that because there's always, like, a lesson that can be taught. You can always take a lesson from when you go in. But honestly, this was very unnecessary. The only good thing is that I actually washed my hair. I'm gonna get dressed now. I'm so cold. I'm gonna make myself a little heating bottle and I'm gonna try to like somewhat get this van dry. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. We will see and then I will probably get back to work. This day was very depressing. dry that's crazy and also in the clip before you did see some sun and you did see some blue sky honestly i wouldn't have thought that i would see some blue sky today it was so freaking annoying and so crazy and so unnecessary i should have just like stayed in the van and worked for a little longer because i still need to get a video up today and it's not done whatsoever that's a bit hectic today was amazing <laughs> We are gonna go to Porto now, so I think it's gonna be like a three hour drive without tolls. I am, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just like, cool, that was an interesting day. And also I'm making this a little bit frustrating on purpose because I want you guys to feel what it's like to be in a tiny van when it's raining literally all day because it is quite a challenge. Uh, yeah, cool. I will probably just show you guys some clips of while we were driving and then I think I'm gonna end this vlog because I don't want this vlog to carry on any longer because I don't want no bad vibes anymore so yeet this was popping. Come on and dance, baby. 